Previously, I had lived to fish. Okay, in order for me to try to get the blockage out, as soon as I hooked up this water line and turned the water hose on, just cracked just a little bit, I heard a big pop, and I couldn't see what happened because I was way over there by the spigot when I turned it on. But I did find another piece of impeller that came out. It was small, just a tiny piece of, just a, it was just a tiny piece of uh, impeller. And I'm hoping that uh, this is going to do it. Okay, she's in gear. I got it running. The heat stream is still pretty hot. I think it's better than it was. It's just still too hot to me. I, I blew it out with water. I heard a pop. Something came out. Some propeller pieces came out of it. The heat stream is much more consistent. But it's still, it's still hot. YouTube. I'm back on the 45 horsepower Mercury with tilt trim and uh, I've still got the, the, the P stream coming out hot as you saw in the last video. So I've done some research and I've searched the web and I found out that these models were prone to having a, uh, it's like a uh, um, water tube retainer up inside the power head in here and they melt when they get hot. And then they restrict the flow. And I kind of thought about that. I thought that was going to happen. I had the same problem with this little Mercury, this 069. Same thing. It had a little uh, uh, nylon insert at the bottom of the base of the uh, power uh, head, the power head, and it, uh, it it seized up. And same thing. So, um, so the next step is going to be removing the power head. So basically, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight bolts or nuts actually there's eight nuts to uh to remove plus the the uh, forward and uh and aft uh, clamps up here on the in the power head i think that's all i have to do and then just yank that power head off so stay tuned for that that's coming up next and we're going to get this thing fixed i mean it runs it's not hot in the power head but i don't like steaming hot anything coming out of a motor so um this has definitely got to get fixed. So I think this is the final the final stage. So stay tuned, everybody, and uh, hang on, and uh, we'll we'll get it done. This one, this one's rounded off, and I'm not sure if I can get that out. Uh, these two are just barely hanging on there, so as I pull the head, that those should come out.
is that down in here, right in here, and this is what typically melts on these. They get hot and then they melt. This is a little retainer where the water tube goes in and there's a boot inside that. But it's got to, the water's got to shoot up into that little hole. I can't tell if that's blocked or not. It sure, sure don't look restricted, but maybe it's because maybe this, this gasket was compromised. And it just wasn't water well, wasn't going where it was supposed to go. And it's possible. I don't know if I, I tore it when I took it apart or if this gasket just gave up. Because it's it's definitely torn up here. And this this whole thing doesn't look bad. It, it, I don't understand why it, it would it would be coming out that telltale so hot. I'm gonna pull, blow some air through that. Maybe I should uh, take the foot off and before I do that, but I mean, this is what's typically melts in here, and I don't see that it is melted. I don't. It, it really don't look horrible. For me, no. You know, it's hard to tell when it's installed because it could be melted on the other side. Could be melted on that other side. I don't know. But how do you get in there? You gotta have like a really long extension and get it from the other side. Maybe. Maybe. All right, well, I'm gonna give it up tonight, um, but uh, I, I, I'm not sure if he should order one of these or not. No, I thought he was, I found one on eBay, but it don't look bad. Maybe it just needs a new rubber boot inside, new seal. All right, I gotta get the leg off, and then I'll know more. Maybe I can see it better. So I'll drop the I'll drop the leg one more time, and pull that out, and see what I got. Well, folks, um, I got the power head off. It wasn't uh, it wasn't that hard to do, but uh, I thought for sure it, with no blockage in that lower portion of the cowling and the water tube, I'd find my issue. And I thought, well, I'll open this panel up, and this this all looked real clear, except for except for the uh, the scoring of those pistons. And they are pretty bad. You can see that. Yeah, you can see that. That's uh, That scoring is, is not good. And that's what's been causing. Well, the overheating issue caused the scoring and then the scoring is causing more, more and more overheating problems. Yeah, even that top cylinder up there has got some scoring. I thought the top one looked okay, but that, that middle one's not real bad. The second one, but this, this is, this is really bad. So I, I mean, I, I'm surprised it's running it, or I had it running, uh, as good as it was, but, uh, yeah, that's the overheat problem. Uh, geez, I was hoping it was a blockage, but um, unfortunately not. So um, I guess this is considered a parts motor now, folks. I'm really depressed. <laughs> well, YouTube, uh, thanks for hanging in there with me on this. And uh, uh, unfortunately, it, uh, it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. Um, I've got to let the uh, owner of this 45 horse Merc, I let him know that it's just a parts motor now. And I, I'm really depressed because I put a lot of work into it, but uh, I did it for free. I'm not gonna, I didn't charge this guy anything. I just did it for the sake of doing the video. So uh, he seems like a nice guy and uh, and he was kind of in uh, some financial problems and, and he wanted to sell this motor. But unfortunately, this is what happens when you overheat an engine. You know, don't go two, three, four years without replacing your, your water pump impeller because scoring is what happens and that's, uh, that just compounded problems. And that's why I couldn't get this thing to, to, even with a new water pump, it didn't matter. It continued to, to just get, keep staying hot and, uh, eventually it'll just grenade itself and, 
and I can't see that, uh, you know, selling that to somebody and having them, even with it coming out hot, it probably would have worked for a while, but I think that would have been a real problem and that would have come back to haunt me and, uh, and the owner. So, um, we're going to wrap this one up. I'm probably going to reassemble this thing back together and then I'm going to let him have it back. So, um, and maybe he can sell it for parts. I, I think there's a lot of great parts on this motor and, um, uh, and he could still make out if, uh, if he wanted to take it apart. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm still working on this 25 horse, uh, waiting for parts out in my driveway. Um, hopefully that's near, not nearly as big of a problem as this one was. And, uh, but I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video if you like. Uh, maybe it'll help somebody out there that uh, has similar problems and don't know what to do. So had I known this was really overheated in the first place, that's the first place I would have looked is at those pistons. I would have taken the the, uh, the panel off to uh, do the inspection there. Since the, ca the compression came out decent, I thought we had a good viable motor here. So anyway, thanks for watching.